Hi guys, welcome to Parrot Playhouse. My name is April. This is the Puff Man eating Christine's Chop Shop birdie bread with pellets inside. So don't tell him, I don't think he knows. And this is Baby who gets super excited with any video that involves food, right Boo Boo? Yes, even pellets. So this video is going to be on how to convert your seed junkies over to pellets because seed is really bad for your birds, you guys. It can give them fatty liver disease and congestive heart failure, causing your birds a horrible, painful death. So we don't want to do that, right? So right here, I have all kinds of cool tips to convert those seed junkies over to pellets. First, we're gonna start out with one way to convert your birdies over to pellets is hiding them in birdie bread. So Puffy's eating Christine's Chop Shop. So inside is the Harrison's super fine pellets. And I just actually sprinkled them in there. So that's what he's eating, or you can eat that too. So easy way to get your birds to eat pellets, but they can't eat birdie bread 24 seven, right? So we have to think of other ways. Another way you can convert your birds to pellets. You guys, these are wild animals and they make tons of messes, right? Whoa! Okay, so baby's done with that. Are you trying to bite me? <laughs> so right here, we've got seed. I don't think these birds know there's seed in there. They're gonna know in a second. And in here is the Harrison Superfine pellets, or you could use any size of pellets in there of your choice. I like to use the Harrison's because they are organic and super natural. And this is a coffee grinder designated only for pellets. Coffee, anything with decaf is toxic for your birds, so don't take the chance. These are super affordable, 20 bucks on Amazon. Link below to our Amazon store will have this little guy. Super awesome by Crumps, we love it. So let's do this. What was that? Yay! We love noise. Okay, so now we've made a pellet powder. Victoria, are you dancing back there? So we've got a pellet powder. And then, wait, we're not there. No, we're not doing this part yet. We're not doing this part yet. Okay, so we've got filtered water. Are you shaking food everywhere, Boo Boo? My goodness. Okay, so we got filtered water. So we're gonna put a little bit of filtered water into the seed. And then, do you want some water? Because we don't want to give our birdies water out of the tap. And we're gonna sprinkle the pellet powder in there. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. We're gonna mix it. Yes, and I don't use water out of a spray bottle because spray bottles can carry bacteria. And so just do it out of a cup like that. There we go. Oh my gosh, something's gonna break. And then we've got seed. You wanna try it? Don't get used to it. This can only sit out for two to three hours because then it'll grow bacteria once it's wet, okay, you guys? Anything that's fresh can also grow bacteria. So that's a huge reason why I like to give my birds pellets during the day. And they get all kinds of other stuff, plenty of vegetables, some fruit, but I do like to feed them pellets because it's a safer way to feed your birds if you're gone all day. Is that good, Victoria? Yeah? So the birdies get a mixture of different pellets every day. They get their Kitek, they get their Higgins, and they get their Harrisons. Each pellet has something special to offer. I just do not feed just one pellet, as you can see. And they get plenty of fresh vegetables, quinoa pasta, beans, and a little bit of fruit. So they get a little bit of everything. And especially during those hot times, right? So your birds can get extra nutrition. So, okay, that's enough seed. This is supposed to be a video converting birds off the of seed onto pellets, not um, teaching your birds to eat seed. Okay, so baby took advantage of that opportunity. Let's just get rid of it. Okay, so now we still have our pellet powder here, you guys. It's our Harrison's pellet powder. Now I have quinoa in here, I have peas, fresh veggies, and they've all been chopped up. And I have a ninja chopper, the link will be below as well. And it just chops everything super fine. Do you wanna see? Look at that, it's so great. There's carrots, all kinds of good stuff. Basil, 
Mm, 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 mm. It smells so good. So I'm gonna take some more of that pellet powder. There we go. These birds are just gorging themselves. And so you mix it around. Hey, don't bite me. There we go. So there we are. So now that's another way you can do that too. This can't sit out once again because it is wet food. Now, I have something else super awesome to show you, but before we do that, I wanna discuss the scale when you are converting your birds from seeds to pellets. Now, birds are very sneaky and they are prey animals, so they never wanna look weak and they do something called fake eating. So when a bird fake eats, they're really not eating and they can basically waste away to nothing but because birds have all these feathers and they can make themselves look super floofy because they wanna look strong and tough in the wild, you can't visually tell if your bird is losing weight. So having a scale, this too, the link will be below, you wanna weigh your bird every day to make sure that they really are eating their food when you're doing this pellet conversion, right? So there you go, that's a valuable tip, so don't forget it, order that scale, I think they're like $20. Hold on, we've got poop. All right, so we've got a poop. We gotta wipe this up because let me tell you, birds have a small amount of E. coli in their poop. And if they get it on their feet and if they eat it, they will consume that and they can get E. coli. So that's one way birds can get E. coli. You don't want your birds to get that horrific bacterial nastiness because that's just drama in itself. So I'm so excited to show you the next thing. And these birds are like eating super crazy. So I have, the Fine Pellets by Harrison, link will also be below. And then I have this little skewer. Do you see that? So this is gonna be really helpful for you guys. So I have bell peppers and I have broccoli and then Puffy ripped the banana off, that's what he's eating. And then you can take the skin off if you want, but now this is an organic banana, so it has been washed. I never ever put anything that hasn't been washed in my bird's bowls or hanging somewhere in the cage because I like my birds to forage. So here we go with the pellets. So what I'm gonna do is, so this is another method to teach your birds to eat pellets. And then I cut some openings there. So there we go, perfect, beautiful, there we go. So we're just gonna basically put the pellets on and then we can also use our pellet powder. It can't sit all day. So two to three hours with this, you guys, Maybe a little longer. So I've got the Christine's Chop Shop. That has the pellets hidden in it. And then I also have our little skewer. I put holes. So if you got a bird that doesn't like vegetables and doesn't like pellets, but loves birdie bread, this is what you do. So now you can like stuff the bell peppers or whatever you've got. Be creative, you guys. It's about thinking out of the box when you've got these smart, intelligent, wild animals living in your house, right? Because that's what they are. They are wild animals. Okay, so we're stuffing it. Wow, look at that. That is so cool. So now they're gonna have to dig through the bell pepper to get the birdie bread and also eat the pellet. All right, so some of you are like, April, they're just digging for the chop shop birdie bread, which I would too, and they're not eating any of the vegetables. You guys, don't worry. This is how it's done. We just want them to get a taste. Did you just sneeze all over it? Don't worry, he's not sick. He sneezes when he sees food because he gets so excited, and right now, He's really excited about this whole situation. So we want them to be excited, right? Then some of you guys are probably going, but they're wasting so much food, April. You guys, don't worry. These wild animals are designed to waste food. That's what birds do in the rainforest. They take a bite and they feed all the other little critters down below. So when you see your bird taking a chunk out of the pellet and dropping it, they're just doing what, how God made them. You know what I'm saying? So. It's okay if birds make messes. And if you don't like messes then, and if you don't like seeing food wasted then, don't get a parrot. Oh, and if you don't like them flinging food all over you and, and splattering the walls, don't get a parrot. And then, oh, there's like a chunk missing out of this table right here. If you have like, like serious antiques and all that, bless you, good stuff. They like to take chunks out of furniture, then you probably shouldn't have a wild animal living in your house, right? Victoria, what did you do? 
Did you do that? We've got another poop on the table. Holy Batmobile. Help me, we should have took the thumbnail before we started filming. What was, bless you, what was I thinking? These delicate rainforest flowers love bright things. Parrots are attracted to bright things just like hummingbirds are attracted to colorful flowers, right? So, bless you. He's excited, don't worry, he's just excited because there's food. This is a great way to also entice your birds to eat pellets. You can sprinkle it into the seeds and start slowly taking some seeds out. And you guys, this is gonna take a long time. It might, a bird might take to it quickly or it might take months or sometimes years. It just depends on the bird because every bird is an individual, right? And that's why we have all different kinds of pellets with different flavors because they've got taste buds too and they're super smart. They know what they want and you just gotta guide them the right way, right? Yes, okay, so don't do that with, okay, so now we got a hole in the bag, okay, but we don't wanna eat the plastic because anything plastic is bad, including plastic toys. So we don't want birds eating plastic. That can be an expensive vet bill. Look who's back there, there's Casey. Casey, she hates to film, and so she doesn't see the camera right now. Well, maybe she does, she's an African Grey, but it's not directly on her, so it's like tricking her. There goes Victoria, whoa! All right guys, these birds are so done filming, but we hope you enjoyed this video and we hope you have true success on converting ouch, your birds from seed to pellets. And remember, patience is the key. Patience and love, it takes time. These birds are wild animals and at the end of the day, they do not belong in captivity. So we have to use patience with them. And the ones that are here, we gotta spoil them rotten and make them as happy as they can be. So you guys, with that, adopt, don't shop, right? Yes? Okay, we'll see you later.